Thanks for watching this video. Before we get started, sign up for this email newsletter and I'll give you my step-by-step e-guide for taking candid photos of kids. Hello and welcome to PhotographyTV.com. During this episode of Travel Photography, we're going to set up our trip to Olympic National Park. What's exciting about this is that this was a gift from me to Jessie for Mother's Day. I had asked her a while back if she could go anywhere in the U.S., where would she go? And she said anywhere in the Pacific Northwest. So for Mother's Day, I planned a trip to Olympic National Park. The reason I chose Olympic National Park to get that Pacific Northwest experience is it has a lot of different things. It's got rainforest, uh, coastline, mountains, lakes, waterfalls, all of that, which really will give her the Pacific Northwest experience. So we're excited to go. In fact, we're leaving tomorrow. So I wanted to just shoot this video to set up the trip and really give you an overview of the gear and the, the things that we're doing planning for the trip. So as it relates to the trip, we're leaving tomorrow morning. We've got a few different destinations in mind. We'd love to see Hurricane Ridge. We'd love to see Lake Crescent, Soul Duck Falls, Rialto Beach, Ho Rain Forest. We've got a few different things in mind, but we've only got about three days in total to do it. So we know that's a big itinerary. The weather's gonna play a role in it. Check in the weather forecast. Things look really overcast, rain. What else would we expect for the Pacific Northwest? So we've got some tentative plans of the things we wanna see, but we'll be flexible with what we need to do and how we wanna pull the trip off, really just to make sure we get away have a great trip together, and we're really looking forward to it. So that's the setup to the trip, but let me quickly talk you through what's the gear from a photography perspective that I'm bringing to really capture as much as I can from this experience. So let's talk you through that and take you through each of the gear items. So from a camera perspective, I'm bringing the Sony A99. This is my primary camera body that I use. I've got the Sony Zeiss 24-70. I've got an old Minolta 70 to 210, which is really a, a lightweight, easy zoom lens for me to carry around. And the Minolta lenses work with my Sony body. And I just recently got a super wide angle prime lens, 14 millimeters, 2.8. Uh, this is a Bauer lens. And I'm bringing that obviously for the really wide perspectives. I'm also bringing a Nikon D3300 and two lenses, the 18 to 55, in a 55 to 200, just to have a, a second body to shoot with. Now those are just the cameras and the lenses. Let's talk about accessories, because those are key. I've got a circular polarizer, which is really important, especially in the rainforest, to make the colors pop and give me that extra color and intensity. I've got a neutral density filter, a three-stop. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough, but that's all I've got at this time. And that's going to help me with the waterfalls, really try to smooth out the water in that perspective when I want it. I've got a few different remote triggers. I've got the wireless, but I also have a wire just in case the batteries go out. That's great for the tripod shots, so I don't have to be touching the camera and moving the camera around. I've got extra batteries, especially when you're outdoors, you may be outside all day, you definitely need extra batteries. I've got a flash just in case I need a little extra pop of light. I'm not sure how much I'll need that, but I wanna bring it just in case. I've got a rain sleeve, because obviously in the Pacific Northwest it rains a lot, so having something to protect the camera, definitely important. I've got my Black Rapid shoulder strap. I just really like this as, it, as the way it hangs on my shoulder, easy to carry around and walk with. I'm also bringing my Peak Design Capture. This is great for strapping it onto a backpack strap or even my belt. Just another great way and easy way to carry around the camera. And then the last accessory, tripods. I definitely need tripods for shooting outdoors and just making sure I can keep the camera still in case I need long exposures. I'm bringing a few different tripods. I've got the Joby Gorilla Pod. This is more for you know, really small, low angle shots or maybe needing to hang this on something specific. So this is a good one. Then I've got my Mi Photo A1350 tripod. Honestly, I'm gonna use this more for holding camera for shooting video, but I need to bring it nonetheless. 
And then the last tripod is my bigger tripod, which is actually holding that camera right there. So I'm bringing three tripods, the big tripod, the one that I'll probably use in the field for holding videos, and then the little gorilla pod. So there you have it. All the gear I'm bringing, a lot of gear to bring, but it's really gonna help make sure I can get the shots that I want. So I wanted to review that with you and then set up a few of the destinations we're thinking about for the itinerary. We're really looking forward to this trip to Olympic National Park, getting that Pacific Northwest experience, and then just giving Jesse and I some time to get away. So stay tuned for other videos from Olympic National Park on travel photography on photographytv.com. Now that you've watched this video, please subscribe to the photographytv.com YouTube channel. And then go to photographytv.com to see the full library of all the videos and content available. Thanks for watching and check out photographytv.com.